the iconic B-52 bomber surprises again. No matter how many new aircraft are produced, no one will be able to surpass the absolute power of the B-52. Despite the fact that this amazing aircraft is already 70 years old, it continues to show its best, leaving no chance for new bombers because no one can beat its records even now. That's why the Boeing B-52 Stratofortress has remained the main long-range aircraft of the U.S. Air Force for the past decades and will remain in service for at least the next 20 years. But what's so special about this bomber that no one can defeat? Why couldn't it be replaced by new representatives? And why can it be called the best in the world? Let's find out. If it will cover the, the most famous airplane ever. We should start with the B-52 strengths. It has a lot of them. There's no larger aircraft that can carry 70,500 pounds of shells and fly more than 8,700 miles on a single refueling. To give you an idea of the distance, a B-52 can take off from Washington, D.C., fly across the Atlantic Ocean, stop in Beijing, and still have full fuel. Of all the strategic bombers currently in service, the B-52 is the only one that's participated in a full-scale war, during which only one bomber was shot down. This is an indicator of reliability and power, isn't it? It's worth emphasizing that 740 of these aircraft were built in the United States, only 220 Tu-95s were built at the same time. There's no need to talk about the younger B-2 Spirit, there are only 20 of them. To remain in combat service, B-52s regularly get repaired and modernized, which allows them to maintain the necessary technical condition for the next mission. The pilots are also trained and prepared according to a special methodology, so they're always ready for battle. For example, during the Cold War, the B-52 crew quarters were located close to a parked bomber. Thus, they could run out of the building to the aircraft and prepare it for takeoff a few minutes after the order was announced. At the time of the danger, the B-52s would have already been in the air on their way to the combat target, while the other bombers would have just taken off from the runway. You know, it's almost like a sprinter ready to take off. And then you get moving. The Stratofortress is the largest and heaviest combat aircraft of the U.S. Air Force, which gives it certain advantages in the light of its main tasks. The bomber has a wingspan of 180 feet and a length of 160 feet, to give you a better idea of its size, put two nine-story buildings on top of each other and put them on the ground. This will be the length of the aircraft. The weight of this giant reaches 220 tons in full combat load, and most of this weight is taken up by fuel, which can hold 47,500 gallons in the tanks. They modified the B-52D models with what we call the big belly modification to the point where between external and internal carriage, if you had this kind of fuel supply for your car, you could drive 1,200,000 miles. The Boeing's able to spend all this amount in just one flight as it can reach a speed of 650 miles per hour at its maximum altitude. In addition, the bomber's equipped with an in-flight refueling system. This feature allows to increase the duration and range of flight to incredible levels. For example, in the past, experiments were conducted during which the B-52 remained in the air for 45 hours in a row. During this time, the enemy could have shot it down but they'd have to try hard because the bomber's equipped with protection against interceptors and anti-aircraft missiles. Until the early 90s, all B-52Hs were equipped with 20mm M61 automatic cannons. Later, such weapons were abandoned in favor of other means of defense. For example, a B-52 with a laser system is currently being tested. Thus, from the point of view of the main characteristics, the B-52H is a very successful aircraft capable of solving a large number of combat missions in various conditions. In addition, the renewal of equipment and its components makes it possible to ensure the necessary combat capabilities. Despite their considerable age, B-52H bombers remain a serious threat to their enemies. During the last modernization, engineers made it easier to load and unload bombs and added a camera in the bomb bay. So now, no one has to crawl around and check for shells. Rolls-Royce has also launched an engine upgrade program. The final test of the F-130 dual-pot engine, which is free of all problems, has now begun. The engine also has increased reliability and consumes less fuel. This means that if the new engine replaces the old one soon, the B-52 will be able to serve for at least another 30 years. While analogs such as the Boeing 727, DC-10, L-1011 are gradually becoming decommissioned, the B-52 is still serving the U.S. Air Force. And what about analogs? Why hasn't any of them surpassed the B-52 after so much time? Let's start with the bomber, which is the most advanced and technologically sophisticated, the B-2 Spirit. The B-2 is a stealth aircraft. It's designed to basically kick down the door to open up that entryway. This magnificent aircraft changed the way we think about aviation in general, as it was the world's first bomber to be designed with a flying wing, and the first aircraft to use a reflective stealth coating. 
It flies at a distance of 6,800 miles at a speed of 600 miles per hour and can transport nuclear warheads anywhere in the world. With the capabilities the Spirit has, it was supposed to become the undisputed successor to the B-52 and replace it. But it didn't. First, many of the B-2's advantages turned out to be its disadvantages. The stealth coating was washed off by the rain in a few minutes, and before each flight it had to be reapplied, waiting for it to dry and hoping that it wouldn't rain during the flight. The shape of the B-2 is basically designed so that it minimizes the amount of radar that can be returned to the original source. Moreover, some of the Spirit's parts turned out to be extremely impervious to moisture, and because of this, they had to be stored and maintained in special hangars with giant climate control units. The speed of the B-2 was also not very good. The B-52 is capable of 680 miles per hour, which is 190 miles per hour faster, so the old aircraft easily outruns it. It may not seem critical, but during a combat mission when every second counts, this advantage solves a lot of problems. The stabilization of a B-2 flying wing configuration becomes a software and computer hardware problem. It becomes a cybernetic problem. And finally, let's talk about the price. Each Spirit is worth $2,100,000,000. At the same time, the most sophisticated B-52H model will cost $55,000,000. The basic version is only $9 million. That is, for the price of just one Spirit, 40 perfect B-52s can be produced, which will be 100 times more reliable. From this point on, it becomes clear why the U.S. government still relies on the Stratofortress and is trying to modernize it, but the aircraft has another competitor that's similar in price and performance, but has not gained the same popularity. We think it's worth comparing them in a fair fight. Both aircraft have proven themselves in military conflicts, both have shown good results, both are capable of destroying the enemy by dropping megaton thermonuclear bombs, but only one will be able to win this battle. The Tu-95 is the world's fastest propeller aircraft and the only production turboprop bomber. However, despite the loud words, its speed lags behind that of the B-52 and reaches only 570 miles per hour. The size of the propellers and the power of the Tu-95 engines resulted in another feature. It's a very noisy aircraft. Even submarine hydroacoustic systems can hear it. What are the risks? At the very least, it'll be much more difficult for it to reach the enemy unhindered than the faster and quieter B-52. The defensive characteristics of both bombers are roughly the same, but while the B-52 is currently being modernized, there's no mention of improvements to the Tu-95. This aircraft is stuck in time, and given the evolving air defense capabilities, shooting it down is becoming as easy as shooting down a balloon, which is not the case with the B-52, which still easily fights back against air defense. Given all of the above, we can firmly say that the B-52 Stratofortress is the world's best bomber, with a power that can only be rivaled by a fool who's never seen a multi-ton armed aircraft that's become a symbol of America's determination. The B-52 has now become a symbol of more than a bomber. It's a symbol of America's resolve. This aircraft is a true world record holder in several aspects. It flies more than 8,700 miles on a single refueling, carries 70,500 pounds of weapons, and has earned the honor of becoming a symbol of American resolve. During its history, it received the most modifications and is considered the most powerful bomber ever built. Probably the, the most famous airplane ever. The threat it poses is creating panic even among Americans as it has repeatedly caused terrible disasters that could wipe out entire cities. Nevertheless, this amazing aircraft can surprise you. The Boeing company really tried its best when creating this behemoth in early 1946. The main goal was to build vehicles with a combat radius that would allow the delivery of a thermonuclear bomb to any part of the world. Despite this important mission, the project received almost no funding. The first decent aircraft concept was drawn by a couple of engineers on a napkin while they were chatting in a cafe. Even with such an extraordinary approach, the project almost fully met the requirements. And in the end, the company did receive funding from the state, which made it possible to show a working copy in the near future. A few years later, the B-52 Stratofortress made its first flight and proved its superiority. The aircraft became so popular that when the Central California airfield was still in operation, the majestic B-52s of 1996 took off and landed from it about every 15 minutes. It was an incredible sight to see giant aircraft flying low over the houses every day. If you were on the flight path, the engine noise would be so deafening that you'd hardly be able to hear anything. Today, the Central California Airport is home to a military museum featuring more than 80 aircraft, including one of these magnificent B-52s. You know, it's almost like a sprinter ready to take off. And then you get moving. 
But this is not the only place to see the greatness of American aviation. The Boeing Company produced only 744 bombers, 700 of which were scattered throughout the country. Currently, 60 of them are still on combat duty and are always ready to fight. Just think, B-52s are now 71 years old and still in service. It's unlikely that any other bomber will ever serve as long and have such a powerful reputation. And of course, like every large aircraft, the B-52 also has its problems. For example, when flying, it creates scary smoking trails that can be seen from several miles away. Of course, this hints at engine problems, and Stratofortress has a lot of them. The shortcomings with the fuel system are proof of this. Constant leaks, clogging, or malfunctions with the fuel supply are just the beginning. Turbines and compressors are also prone to rapid wear, which only increases fuel consumption and, accordingly, the amount of exhaust gases left by the aircraft. In addition, the original engines developed in the late 1950s, which were installed on the Boeing 707, were characterized by low combustion efficiency. The same engines moved to the B-52, bringing all their problems with them. However, the B-52 has already begun an engine upgrade program, which is being worked on by the well-known Rolls-Royce company. The final tests of the F-130 dual-pod engine have begun. It's free of all the above problems and has increased reliability and consumes less fuel. This means that if the new engine replaces the old one soon, the B-52 will be able to live for at least another 30 years. While analogs such as the Boeing 727, DC-10, L-1011 are gradually being phased out of service, the B-52 Stratofortress is still serving the U.S. Air Force. The B-52 has now become a symbol of more than a bomber. It's a symbol of America's resolve. But its power is capable of creating a real nightmare for the enemy. To understand this, just look at the process of dropping several tons of bombs on an island in the middle of the ocean. Bomb drops from a B-52 Stratofortress bomber are a complex process that requires precision and coordination. Before the bombs are dropped, military commanders and operators develop a mission plan. It includes target selection, route, flight altitude, and other parameters. The shells are then loaded on board the B-52 and installed in the aircraft's bomb bays, which can hold a total of 70,500 pounds of cargo. Since the bomber is equipped with modern navigation and target monitoring systems, it's not difficult for it to determine the exact location of the target. After that, when the B-52 reaches the position, the operators on board activate the jettisoning systems. The bombs can be dropped one at a time, causing a series of strikes or simultaneously creating an explosion of incredible proportions. If necessary, the crew can adjust the trajectory of the bombs to hit the target accurately, and after a successful attack, the B-52 moves away from the drop site to ensure its own safety. It should be noted that the B-52 Stratofortress is capable of carrying various types of munitions including guided and unguided bombs, cruise missiles, cluster munitions, and even nuclear-tipped missiles, which proved to be very dangerous. So in the mid-1980s, the B-52 was modernized to use non-nuclear weapons. At the very least, they made it easier to load and unload bombs, added a camera in the bomb bay so no one needs to crawl in there and check for shells. This was the beginning of a long way to modernize the Majestic aircraft. We modified the B-52D models with what we call the big belly modification to the point where between external and internal carriage agent. The newest variant of the Stratofortress is called the B-52J, and as an interesting fact, at one point the U.S. Air Force considered installing a Stinger SAM in the tail of the aircraft to replace the tail gun. A separate item is the modernization of the aircraft's stealth capability. The B-52 has one of the most powerful electronic warfare systems among U.S. combat aircraft. It includes equipment for setting up disinformation and noise interference, heat traps, and dipole reflectors. In addition, the G&H modifications are equipped with radar jamming systems, jamming transmitters, and detection warning equipment. In short, it's an incredibly powerful weapon that makes it almost impossible to shoot down an aircraft. However, out of all the strategic bombers currently in service, B-52, Tu-95, B-1, Tu-160, B-2, the B-52 is the only one that's been shot down. On the night of December 29, 1972, over 50 years ago, the Vietnamese People's Army shot down the 25th American B-52 bomber in the sky over Hanoi. Made a mayday call, much to his luck that day, a B-52 orbiting close. This is yet another disaster for this aircraft, but the adventures did not end there. On June 24, 1994, a B-52 crashed at Fairchild Air Force Base, Washington, after its pilot, Lt. Col. Arthur Bud Holland, went out of the bomber's range and lost contact with the base. The aircraft stalled, fell to the ground, and exploded. The crash was captured on video and repeatedly shown on the news around the world. However, despite all the tragedy of this case, the right approach allowed to find benefit in it. For example, this crash is now being used in the military and civil aviation community as a case study to train pilots to manage their resources. This case is also often used in training as an example of the importance of following safety rules. 
And here's another interesting fact. Of all the strategic bombers currently in service, the B-52 is the only one that participated in a full-scale war where real combat was fought. Given the fact that only one unit has ever been shot down, we can judge the reliability and effectiveness of this aircraft in real combat situations. But the B-52 was useful not only in war, but also in science. Stratofortress was used by NASA for research at high altitude, more importantly for launching X-15 rocket-powered spacecraft. As you can see, the B-52 is a real discovery, a legend among aviation, an absolute record holder that still serves and will continue to serve as a symbol of American determination. This is the end of the video. Subscribe to the channel if you liked the video, and also don't forget to express your opinion with likes and comments that we read carefully. Thanks for watching, and see you soon!